the FIFA 22 beta is expected to be rolled out next week and in this video we're going to be talking about everything we actually know about the FIFA 22 beta so far, what actually is going to be happening, when exactly is this going to be happening, how can you actually make sure you've got the right things selected so that maybe next week you're going to be the lucky person to get that email and you can go ahead and jump on to FIFA 22 and also how are people actually on it because we have been seeing a few images going around around a few leaks so we're going to be discussing how exactly is that possible so early on so going straight into this video now how do EA Sports approach these betas and what do they actually do with them this is a closed beta meaning that it is free but the access is very limited because EA Sports don't want the images to be shared around other games they treat the beta as some sort of like demo if you pre-order it then everyone who pre-orders the ultimate edition for example is going to be given the closed beta but EA Sports move around it a little bit differently I guess because it is a video game and maybe every single year the game is quite similar there's a few things they still want to test other things like that but what are the actual requirements mostly this is going to be this year for the first time next gen players so we do know the new Xbox and also PlayStation 5 it's mostly going to be for them so unfortunately if you are still stuck on the PS4 or Xbox one the chances are very very slim of you actually getting selected but because EA Sports don't actually officially announce release a press release or anything like that some pitch notes how exactly you can actually get yourself the FIFA 22 beta we're not too sure if PS4 and Xbox One players are going to be involved at all but we do know of course there's a heavy focus on next gen so definitely next gen is going to have access to the FIFA 22 beta the US and also the UK is most favored but we have seen in the past some other people from other countries also get it in Europe Europe, Asia, it is definitely possible, but again, the chances already that are so small are getting reduced down even further so your odds now are really really being cut down if you are outside of the US and the UK and lastly it is most likely for definitely 18 and over so if your account the date of birth is under 18 which I think for most of us whether it's true or not it does say on our accounts that our date of birth is probably 18 or above because of course if you want to play games and stuff it's not going to let you so I think for most of us 18 or over even if we're not 18 and above I think that is going to be fine but it's worth checking on your account to see what your date of birth is on the account so when is this actually going to be happening now it is rumored to be starting next Friday August the 13th with codes being sent out as early on Wednesday this is how it was last year codes were sent out on August 12th which was a Wednesday and then it started two days later on Friday so that is probably what we're going to be seeing this year again we definitely have seen in the past if you don't get a code straight away on Wednesday that is sort of like a batch one if you want to look at it like that and then they are released more and more so you might get a batch two which is going to be released over the weekend and then another batch batch three perhaps but again because EA Sports don't exactly clarify it is quite frustrating we don't really get the full picture but because we do have it every single year we can sort of build the picture but we don't know exactly if some pieces are missing and how EA Sports are exactly doing it but emails should be released pretty much next week for over that week or over two weeks it is going to be lasting for a little bit so how can you actually make sure that you are doing the right things on your end what can you actually do you can use the link that will comment down below and also in the description to log into your EA account the portal and then there are a few things from here that you can be selecting so the first thing is to allow your email preferences to sort of opt in to additional emails from EA Sports that's going to be the first thing and the second thing is going to be to add your next gen console assuming you have one to your preferred platforms it might still be worth it even if you don't yet have a ps5 or new xbox to try and select it and if you get lucky maybe last minute try and hurry to get a ps5 or something like that but definitely try and do that for sure or if you genuinely have a next gen console make sure that you do have that selected because we do know that is going to be super important and the third thing you can do in this ea portal is going to be apply for community play testing we're not too sure if this is exactly how you're going to be getting access to the beta but it's worth a shot you're not going to be losing anything if you do try it it's on the left hand side the menu community play testing then you just sign in agree to the terms and then it is going to pretty much come up with this screen and right now of course it isn't going to say anything is available but may 
maybe it will become available next week so that's worth it already so how are people already on this beta because we have been seeing a few leaks as you can see these images on the screen they are remakes of the actual leaks that we have seen mainly from this twitter account playstation size so i do believe he is quite reliable he sort of does it for all of the different games that are in beta or demo stage he sort of tweets out how big the sizes are i believe this beta is around 40 gigabytes something like that that is how much it usually is and then we are going to be having different access some people will get invited to career mode some people to ultimate team and some people i believe to volta as well and maybe it can be multiple volta and ultimate team we'll have to see next week of course when that is going to be unfolding but currently the images that we have been seeing that have been surfacing it is only very very few extremely limited verified players and also creators they have been given some sort of access whether it's to the beta or you could describe it as something else as some sort of demo you have also seen some youtubers some ea game changers talking about how the gameplay is so far they have to of course have played the game already to judge how the game currently is in this stage of sort of alpha or beta testing so there is definitely very very few limited people on it and that's how one or two three images have actually slipped through but they do seem genuine but we're going to have to see we're not too sure Sure, because it is so limited no one else can of course confirm but let me know down in the comments below what you guys think just to summarize this video make sure that you are going to be using the link down in the description and the comment section to make sure you have everything on your side checked in and then to next week on sort of friday the 13th of august that is when the first few people should have access to the beta thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time